when your child finishes schooling. You're their biggest champion as they follow their dreams or explore the next steps in their life journey. My daughter had been training, rehearsing and auditioning full time for four years to get to this moment. The pandemic had thrown more than one spanner in the work. She auditioned and been accepted into international ballet schools, but we decided to decline the offers because of the state of the world. So she basically had to start over again and redo auditions. So it was really exciting. It was really rewarding to get to this moment. It was such a critical next step for her and her training and her career. As a parent, you're so proud and you're so happy for them. The dream is exciting, but the reality is actually really daunting. So I thought I'd share some actions or practical steps that you can take to help work through the next stages of being an empty nester. Firstly, establishing a new kind of relationship with your almost adult or adult child. If they're going away, how do you do this from a distance? Even if they're here or, or if they're away, communication is a really critical part of this next journey. So, you know, look at establishing agreed types of communication and frequency of communication. Don't leave it to chance because if you do, there'll be misunderstandings, different expectations, and it could, it could start off, you know, with a really rocky start. If you're in a coupling, I recommend perhaps redefining your relationship as a couple, you know, rather than a couple who are full-time parents, there is a bit of a difference there. So things you might want to consider, you know, do you need to rekindle romance or re-establish connection? Do you need to give each other space and time to establish your own individual identity? And then you can do so as a couple as well. Revisiting your identity, that's definitely what I've found has been a critical next step um, in this process. You know, how has becoming an empty nester reshaped who you are as a person? Do you need to re-examine what you enjoy doing, um, what you value? Do you need to re-examine your purpose in life and what gives you meaning? Having said that, it's really important to also just work out how to deal with the day-to-day. -day. So you might need to establish a new daily routine. Um, this could also include self-care routine. So have a think about exercises, personal development, relaxing, as well as just the day-to-day. Thank you for listening to part of this empty nesting journey. I'm in the early stages of this journey and would like to share more of it with you and I will be doing so in future videos. So please subscribe to this channel to hear more about my empty nesting journey and some of my life lessons.